Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video on HighBlock. In today's video, we'll be covering HighBlock Stat Analyzer tool. The Stat Analyzer is our first step into creating backtesting functionality within the platform. Once traders have found an opportunity that they want to action on based on the value of a specific indicator, this tool will allow you to answer the following questions before taking action. How many times has that indicator value occurred in the past? In previous instances, if I entered into a position, what would be the average change in price for multiple timeframes after that event occurred? How do I compare these results to a benchmark to see if the indicator had a significance on the price action? In this video, I'll walk you through how the tool solves for these questions and how you can use it in your future strategies. Before I begin, I want to say that this is not financial advice. Everything I say and show in this video is for educational purposes only. So on my screen, you see three options at the top, indicators, ticker, and date. For ticker, we have support for multiple coins. I've currently selected Ethereum for the purposes of this example. Within date range, you can select from a variety of different dates. I have selected a one month time frame, so from 12 15 2021 to 1 14 2022. Within indicators, we have support for seven different indicators open interest, retail versus whale divergence, top trader accounts long percentage, long accounts percentage, long liquidations, short liquidations, and funding rate. And there's more to come. For this example, I will use open interest. Once I click on open interest, you will see a bar appears. This is a range of values that I can choose from. Suppose you want to invest in Ethereum only if open interest falls between two specific values. This is where you can select that. So for this example, I'll choose a value in between this range right here and then I'll hit run. Now a box has appeared on the bottom with some values. The first row is based on the number of times open interest has fallen in the range you have selected. So in our case, it's 2,544. And then the second row, we have a benchmark, which is how many total open interest occurrences are there in the whole date range that you've selected. So in this case, it's 43,103. For each of these occurrences on each row, we will calculate the average change in price for different time frames: five minutes, 15 minutes, one hour, four hour, one day, three day, and seven day. So in other words, every time OI is in the range that you have selected, the average change in price for every five minutes after that event is 0.002%. And then in the second row, the average change in price for all five minute occurrences is negative 0.0018%. As you can see in this example, the benchmark performed a lot worse than the selected range. We can also add a second indicator to this application. Suppose you want to take a look at certain open interest range and a certain funding rate range in Confluence. You can do so by adding it right here, selecting the range that you would like to see, and hitting Run. Okay. Now you can see that the number of occurrences where both indicators fell in that range has gone down, as well as the percentages has changed across the different timeframes. Right now, the tool only supports if both indicators occur together. However, in the future, we will be adding an OR statement. In summary, this tool is useful for quantifying many assumptions. Oftentimes, we see traders making assumptions that certain values mean bullishness or, or bearishness. But in fact, there may be no impact, or it may be the reverse of what they think. 
Also, the price may not be impacted right away. So you may need to look at longer time frames, such as one day, three days, or seven days to see if that indicator has some significance. By solving these problems, traders can build better strategies. So that was the overview of the Stat Analyzer tool. I hope that provided more clarity on this application. If you'd like more information, please visit the Academy page. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video. Cheers.